are we live yet there we are awesome awesome hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to our second live stream in the same day hey x how are you doing you're like right there going Tanik, i'm in spotty how you guys doing uh for those that are going to be watching this uh, video after the live stream when it's been uploaded to bitshoot and youtube we just finished a gaming live stream I was showing people my gaming collection uh, about an hour and a half ago uh, so we did a two hour second our second live gaming live stream collection show and tell video we did one yesterday we did one today and we're doing one in a couple of days and um, i got a couple of comic book calls in the last five days or so and i wanted to show you guys so i told everyone that we're going to do a comic book call um about you know what time is it today <laughs> today is september 24th and it's around 1 p.m pdt so i told everyone after the live stream in about an hour and a half we do a comic book call i had a window and we got a window for comics always make windows for comics right uh so we're gonna wait for people to roll in um there was a few people that were excited about uh, uh us doing this live stream and while we wait spot of tea how are you doing hope you're doing well uh the lego said it we have a, I have a couple of other Lego sets. Uh, by the way, during a game stream, there was a, uh, we came across a Lego set. So there was a some other Lego sets I have as well. So if I end up getting organizing and stuff like this, I'll show you the other ones as well, some randoms as well. Uh, aside from that, while we wait for people to come in, oh man, if you can find them, that would be awesome. And they're from they'd be from the like nineteen. Actually, there were a couple of collections uh, my brother had from the 1990s. I'm not sure if they're with me or not. Gina, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, gang, quick intro because we already did one intro. Oh, I think my mouse is... got to change the batteries for my mouse. Uh, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow this work, support this work, know what this is all about following the work through patreon is a good way to do so i uh, don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share a like and for those of you that's supporting through this uh, through patreon thank you for the support and we are live streaming on twitch and you see this little zombie dude that's someone subscribing so jade mass jaded mass thank you very much for the tier one sub uh appreciate it and that's happening and the chat live on twitch right so i'm so glad that uh, command <laughs> works <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, uh so if you want to participate in these live streams uh twitch is where you want to be at that's where we do uh, the live streams and for those of you subbing uh following uh participating in these live streams thank you very much for the support i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on hello minds vk parlor gab and twitter and you can follow the work there um some of the stuff that we're sharing anyway and uh for is this going uh one going this one's going to youtube right so comic books youtube gaming youtube specific asmr youtube uh 10 by 10 math puzzle youtube uh we do our polit no politics no politics on youtube anymore uh economics depending on what we're talking about may go on youtube may not go on youtube so audio if we don't not doing any visuals goes on soundcloud as a podcast and we are right now uploading to youtube and bitshoot everything goes to bitshoot uh only certain things go on youtube and as the sensors tighten on youtube the odds are there's going to be less and less content being loaded on youtube that'll be more uh generic not generic but uh, g-rated uh content uh going on youtube uh not mature to a certain degree collections for sure open comic books almost always open uh to youtube uh and whatnot it's just they're they're moving towards becoming not just a platform but a publisher so if they don't want our content certain types of our content published on youtube we won't upload it there uh we live in amazing times where disruptive innovation is kicking in and there's other video sharing platforms popping up which is fantastic right so as consumers as creators we have to decentralize ourselves that also means not getting all of our information entertainment whatever we do from one source 
it's just the name of the game is g rated related to <laughs> google or is it a separate rating system <laughs> good question i basically meant general uh like general populations so that's what i meant but i think maybe we'll do the double meaning now as g rated google rated uh and we can't call alphabet inc owns google so we can't call it a rated because that'd be adult and youtube is definitely not going that way skillik how are you doing hello chicho pal how's life comic books well how long have we been live i'm gonna give one 10 minutes because the people that were here before uh there's some people that were pretty uh psyched about this they were excited how long do you uh recon the stream will be i uh, reckon the stream will be it'll be probably less than an hour uh probably i don't know a half an hour 40 minutes 45 minutes i'm gonna take these guys down so we can wait a little bit for people to come in i'm not sure if notifications have gone out on uh long time no see elder god i think it's been an hour and a half <laughs> two hours cheryl i guess notifications have gone up now Hi again randall how are you doing okay cool discord went out discord went out no twitch though no twitch okay so we give it a little bit of time and by the way just to let you know uh maybe twitch doesn't like sending notifications uh two notifications the same day i don't know is that is that something that happens I'm pretty sure people stream multiple times a day we have as well i think the most we did we did uh, three live streams in one day where we did uh, three of the 10 by 10 puzzle that was fun that was super fun so no twitch notification yet oh my oh my what do we do what do we do should i give you a lowdown let me give you the cost of these before um we start talking about we start looking at what they are uh, when I mentioned that this was going to be Golden Age and Silver Age, there is lots of Golden Age. Well, there's Golden Age and Silver Age, and there's Bronze Age here as well. There's one set of Bronze Age here, uh, but there's a few Golden Age here. Um, most of the books are Golden Age, and there's a couple of pulp, uh, three, three pulp magazines. Um, that I ended up grabbing secret cancel yeah I remember that I went back and found the stream where you made me a mod actually Chicho and that was that was on a 10 by 10 puzzle awesome spot of tea awesome secret cancel <laughs> back in 2018 nice is this in this is a new acquisition I grabbed these Gina uh, thank you very much for the follows and the subs by the way gang I if i see it i'll try to maybe uh, th thank you <laughs> this uh, this haul was one haul i ended up buying from a local seller right and he had mentioned in his uh, in his description uh, that he was in the same city i am uh, but he wasn't he was like an hour away right so one of these hauls i ended up buying a month ago but i just got it like five days ago because we we're trying to arrange for me to go pick it up and i didn't want to drive like 45 minutes an hour to go get it and he wasn't he he was he had he, he rode a motorbike so his motorbike was down and he had a hard time coming here so we finally ended up and he was he kept on apologizing he actually gave me an extra book let me show you the extra book he gave me because it took so long i told him listen man i, I got an amazing deal from the guy by the way but he threw in an extra book Hulk magazine six x n i i exactly thanks for the follow thank you for the follow um he threw in this book as well as a pop magazine and this is from 1948 right and it's just like poor graded amazing stories 1948 okay and he threw this in saying that oh he apologized because you know it took him so long to get these books to me and i was like no man i'm cool with it because once i show you the haul you're gonna go oh what a great deal what a great deal right so this one i bought this initial haul that's not bagged it's not in a box i bought like a month ago but i just got it like five days ago after i ended up buying this 
I got an issue two of a series and someone I've been following we've bought before listed in issue number one of this pulp magazine so I put in the bids and I won this box here that we're gonna take a look at so I won this box after this set and uh, I just picked this one up two days ago from the when we're doing our math stream uh, I went and picked that up afterwards or three days ago I guess uh, so they're both I got my hands on them within five days mr. Hezekiah how are you doing how are you doing TICC what's TICC TICC thank you I don't know what that means what's the acronym for TICC TIC well that's the acronym what does it stand for should we do yang let me show you what I got the first comic book haul is these guys <laughs> Rafa, Rafa live awesome thank you for the love love you guys as well by the way the Eddie G internet speak for thank thick thick or thanks thick oh thick oh internet does speak for thick t-i-c-c <laughs> t-h-i-c-c that's funny this rips for you nice <laughs> thorn how are you doing welcome welcome okay gang t-h-i-c-c -C. hello chicho brother kebabs how are you doing welcome welcome i'm assuming twitch notification went out because people are rolling in so since that's happened let me tell you what we ended up getting okay gang first comic book haul total cost there is five books that i bought all of them golden age one of them is a pulp magazine so four comic books one pulp magazine they're between uh 1951 to 1954 total cost of these five books was twelve dollars and 49 cents canadian okay there was no delivery charge because i picked it up and there was no taxes on this some deal especially when you see what i got the first book alone this book alone is much worth much much more than that and let me bring up the intros i didn't get a chance to print this stuff up wait a minute am i waiting am i waiting what am i waiting for elder god hello oh spider-man that's right you need to get in here man no are we waiting elder god should i wait should I wait I'm gonna show you this for those of you who are into uh, what do you call it into uh, that, that where is it there it is into golden age comic books he's a collector are you a collector or seller uh, I'm a collector I do sell every now and then I sold some books last year to generate some funds as well as to collect uh, data okay for our ASMR mathematics so as a collector every now and then I let some books go all right there's two C, uh, two graded comic books Gina two slap comic books okay and they're ridiculous they're not well not ridiculously but they're expensive for me but I got them at a pretty good deal I have a small break between classes okay spider-man let's do this check this out Walt Disney's Peter Pan treasure chest check this out check this out this is this is published 1953 january it's a thick book like seriously thick okay this thing he graded this he said this book was let me check it out let me check it out what did you say this this book was graded at uh, ba -da -ba. Mm, did he grade it no he didn't grade it but looking at this i would have said that he good he said grades range from fair to good depending on spine condition this guy let's pull this out you guys let me know what you think the grade on this is i think this grade this would grade around three three point five this book plus the next four i'm gonna show you i got i picked up the cost for it total was 1050 Canadian okay 
1050 Canadian and in this book let me tell you who's who's in here Dick Moore's Bob Moore Al Hubbard uh, Bob uh, Morgan Dick Moore Dick Moore uh, Harvey Eisenberg Jack Bradley okay um, Del Connor so there's a whole bunch of people in this which is an amazing deal amazing deal not a bad price yeah a fantastic price <laughs> check it out okay take a look I would say this is minimum 3.5 Like fantastic book. Theoretical question: Would modern preservation methods keep the pages from oxidizing? Uh, possibly. And preservation, Gina. By the way, um, there's a category for preservation. So, technically speaking, according to CGC, you can replace staples on a comic, and that's not called restoration. It's called preservation. That's a good plus. You would say good plus. I would give it a higher grade. I would give it. Uh, I would have given a three, three point, three point five. Seriously, and the back cover, like there's nothing, no chunks gone. Look at the back cover. What have I spot of tea? You haven't must too much. This is the first book sort of we're looking at. This is 1953. Okay. So really good deal, amazing deal. When the guy gave it to me he goes you got a great deal i'm like yeah, i got a great deal <laughs> love peter pan right like i my price my bid for these was higher uh, but that's so cool so peter pan 1953 by the way if you look on ebay there's a handful of these listed on eBay, okay, in poor condition, in much lower condition than this, okay. They're they're going for over well, they're listed for over a hundred. I saw one cell that was listed at uh, good that went for like sixty bucks or something, okay. Ones that are graded around four or five, three, four, five are going for a few hundred. Okay, are being listed for a few hundred. So this was an insanely good price. Uh, now that's what they're listing them for. So that's not really the price, but on uh, on my comic shop, where I get most of my info about this, there's one listed there right now, available in stock. There's one at fair, which is graded at one, which is listed for sixty bucks, which I found wow. You can store older paper in a container filled with uh, stable gases like uh, argon. Ah, okay. First 10 p.m. close tonight. Oh, that's right. Oh, God, you guys are locking down. I agree. That's a 3.5. Yeah, Spider-Man, I think I'd give it a 3.5. Okay. It's hard to say without behind, um, behind the person. Yeah. Yeah, unless you press the comic, then that's considered restoration. Pressing is restoration, yeah? I've never pressed the comic. Uh, I'm not interested in pressing comics, to tell you the truth. The next book. So that Peter Pan plus the next four books were 1050. This is Bugs Bunny Christmas Funnies. Bugs Bunny Christmas Funnies. Okay. And this was published. Doink. Let me find it. This came out in 1954, okay? And again, I would grade this at a four. Like really, the major flaw is these guys here. 
there's a couple of breaks here but the back cover was fantastic as well okay just as bright as this so i would definitely grade this a lot higher okay what's up duck elder god for preservation that's how they protect the declaration of independence oh really declaration of independence in, uh, in a gas argon cool cool you just got to keep oxygen away main, mainly right i think uv radiation is worse than just oxygen though at least for color yeah yeah uv for sure right so that's great bugs bunny vacation funnies number one this one came out in 1950 let me find it for you 1951 this is issue number one okay like really you can't oops like oh, i gotta bring it closer so you see it better it's lurk away uh, spot of the nifty 50 yeah right so this one this one i would rate as a uh as a two as a 2.5 right as a 2.5 even some people will rate this higher what a golden age experience and i already have uh we've done other comic book hauls where i bought uh, at least one x one copy of this that was in poor condition okay this one is pretty good not bad right and we got walt disney vacation parade Ta -da -ta -da -ta -da -ta -da -ta -da i like these guys I like the Walt Disney stuff from that period, right? And this vacation parade is number two. Okay, it came out in uh, 2005. Okay, and this one isn't very expensive, but uh, pretty. I like it. I can't remember if it was a gatefold cover. It goes in the back, it goes into the spine, the diagram. Let's take a look. And again, I would. Well, you be the judge. Right. Let's pull it out. It is a gatefold cover. Nice. I forgot. Check it out. Check it out. And the inside is nice pages. Nice pages. Right? Awesome. <laughs> like, seriously. Fantastic gang you can get if you have kids you can get kids amazing it's got a spine roll that's for sure so that lowers it so i would give this a 2.5 right it's got a tear here that's a pretty big tear so two maybe i would say 2.5 really i think lower grades right <laughs> check out the gatefold cover ah oh, here's pluto check out pluto <laughs> want to see this these are one pagers take a look hottest day of the year <laughs> it's a one page funny take a look hottest day of the year right fantastic being a kid having this would be amazing right amazing old walt disney yes new walt disney gatefold cover fantastic right and this one you can get on the cheap cheaper oh no on the cheap not bad not bad not bad not bad so very happy to have these uh, i don't i didn't have this uh vacation parade number two and when was it published 1950 19 hold on a second well you can get it relatively on the cheap hey where is it oh hold on a second Oh, actually, I don't have the date on this one. Uh, 
Hmm. Hold on. Vacation parade. I gotta. I gotta do it. I gotta search it. Vacation parade. You can get it at a relatively good price on this one. Nineteen fifty. Actually, this is number. Yeah, this is number two. So you can get a relatively cheap, way cheaper than Peter Pan. Okay. Let me ch show you the pulp magazine. This one was fantastic. This one was fantastic. Are these ad uh, adapted from animated shorts or are they originals? There's got to be tons of original stories here. Um, m like really, there's no way they could have adapted all of that into animation, right? So there's a lot of originals here. Wow. You are a great man. So childish, so energetic. Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> I heard a new word today. Jiz Disney. Uh, but I'm uh, still figuring out its meaning. No, oh, that might not be a good meaning, uh, Elder God. Maybe. Check this out. This is... Wonder Story Annual. Pick this one up for dollar ninety nine, which is a pretty good deal. Okay. Volume one, issue two, and he graded this thing as very good, and I would agree with that grade. Very good grade. Okay. And this thing uh, came out in. Uh, hey, where to go? Came out in. Uh, it was published in uh, nineteen fifty one okay and as far as who who's some of the stories that are written here uh endo binder one of which we've read the story um i robot uh one of the comic book readings we did we did the i robot story reading and uh there's endo binder here giant size issue stories by manly wade wellman jack williamson endo binder will garth and alexander uh, samalman okay cover by rudolph Balan Bar baralski okay and i'm getting uh, uh what do you call it? this information from my comic shop again okay and it's a good good place to get the info from okay great edit very good so it was a pretty good deal oh no i understand i know elder god i caught it uh, I've come across some racists like that, so uh, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, All right, fantastic. Very happy to have this, and it's really good shape. Take a look. Let's see if this will focus. All right, it's still in a bag, right? Mathis, thank you for the follow. 1951 wonder story should I crank it out let's pull it out so this is issue number two keep that in mind issue number two of the series All right pretty nice pretty nice cover beautiful cover on the back cover it's just amazing offer and advertisement and it's basically pulp magazine with lots of stories like it's a book really right some of there's illustrations for the beginning of a story and there are a lot of writers that wrote for these magazines that would convert it to comic book format through either EC Comics or some of the other uh, independent uh, publishers at the time, especially horror and science fiction comic books that came out through the golden age of comics. There's a lot of stories that they adapted from stories that originally appeared in these pulp magazines. One of them was iRobot that we read uh, as a comic book in... Uh, in EC Comics 
amazing uh, science fiction fantasy stories. And I have the iRobot. Should I go get, show it to you? I'm going to go show it to you. Check this out. And the guys threw in this because it took us a while to hook up, right? I'm going to show you, bring you down iRobot, which is Endo Binder, the person who wrote one of the stories in this annual. Okay, hold on a second. I'll be right back. This is the amazing stories with, and this is a famous, uh, famous story, right? Let me put a tape on this because the thing is coming off. So this is volume 13, number one, January 1939. This is another one of this series, right? I, Robot, right, by Endo. Oops, where are we? Endo Binder. All right. And one of the EC readings we read, we read the story. Or we read uh, the second part of the story. So fantastic. Kathy just said, where were you earlier? He has a programming treat in one of the boxes. <laughs> Is Elder God here? So very happy to have this. Okay. And all of those books, except for the amazing stories, uh, the last one I brought with iRobot, cost twelve fifty Canadian, all in all included. No, there was no shipping. We uh, we met. I picked it up. No taxes, and that comes out to about nine fifty US, uh, which is a phenomenal deal. Like, poof, right? Let me show you a box. This guy cost me a fair penny. Okay, let me tell you how much this this haul cost me i'm going to close this close uh, close this comic book haul the comics cost 300 dollars canadian taxes were 15 dollars canadian and shipping was 30 dollars Canadian okay so total for what's in here cost $340 Canadian and uh, if you want to know what that is in US funds it would come out just multiply by 0. 0.7 uh, 0. 0.7 uh, five or six okay I'm not sure if it'll show it to me here oh, it doesn't show it to me yeah it does <laughs> don't mess around with the with the with the websites chicho right yeah was here a, a moment ago was he there a moment ago okay so let's crack this open and we have bought from this person before one of the previous comic book halls which was graded the Betty yes. nice. I'm going to show you the CGC uh, the CGC is the last stuff that I'm going to show you okay just because I have some pages open now. Serious wrapping. So take a look, take a look. I got a bag and board these better. Check this out. This one. So this one was from the previous haul, right? Wonder Stories Annual. I bought this one first. 
Wonder Annual number one. The size is uh, oh, so it's the same. Oh, it's a little bit taller. The number number one in the back is a little bit bigger, right? So this is issue number one of Wonder Story Annual, and I really wanted this one because I got the number two. Okay, this one we paid much more than what we paid for the number one. Uh, for the number two for the previous one this one ended up costing um, now I'm not gonna the shipping and taxes I'm not gonna call uh, tell you what they are per book because it isn't calculated per book right so all of this box was around 350 Canadian which is what is that basically 75 times three two fifty let's say 250 US right this one cost twenty four dollars and fifty cents Canadian okay and he graded this thing uh let me see what he graded this thing as he's graded this thing he graded this thing as a four okay should we bring it out take a look at it he graded this thing as a four and let me tell you who's did some of the uh stories in this uh, the people that wrote in this right Giant size featuring stories from Fletcher Pratt, D.D. Sharp, Endo Binder, William Thor Thormont, and Ray Cummings, John B uh, Bynan Harris, and Frank Kelly, K. Kelly, Five Visual Finley Illustrated, da, 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 right? And this thing came out in 1950. Okay. And it, it was the price I paid for this was fair, it's fair value. Uh, would I have gone that high if I didn't have number two? Probably not. Right? Oh, it's got that old school uh, smell to it, right? There's a back. Happy to have this. Very happy to have this. Okay. Pretty cool. I should put this in a better bag and board so I'm gonna put this one on the side because I'm gonna put in a better actually I have the bag and boards here no I'll, I'll put it in later okay check out these ones <laughs> a couple of more magazine size okay pulp magazines thank you very much for the follows gang okay 261 US or two, uh, 205 pounds UK. So $261 US. I paid fair value for all of these. Okay. I would say they were fair value. Uh, actually, did, what I'm about to show you right now was a fantastic value. Okay. It was really good. What you're seeing here, let me do this one. Oh, I didn't put this one in the bag. Look at that. Oh, I should have put it in the bag. Actually, it, it was graded low. Check out this one amazing stories from july 1927 okay 1927 check this out and for this one and the next book uh i ended up paying i ended up paying ten dollars canadian my bid was a lot higher okay I paid ten dollars so it's not five dollars a pop because this is more expensive this is uh, amazing stories uh, sorry amazing stories is 1939 uh, the other ones uh, or does he have this wrong actually no no this one's amazing stories this one's 1927 July 1927 okay and he graded this one uh, as two so it's just good okay and the people that wrote in this hg wells yeah spot of tea hg wells the people that have written in this and edgar Allan poe as well okay uh july 1927 covered by F uh, frank paul stories by hg wells the planter story emerit the moon pool edgar Allan poe von Kempel, Kempler and his discovery and many more edited by Hugo 
uh, journeys journeys back. This issue also also check this out. I, I looked into this actually. This was pretty cool. This issue also also features a letter to the editor from a uh, Bertram Chandler, and he's a science fiction writer. 17 years before he began publishing science fiction and he's got a huge list of sci-fi books that he's written right super cool awesome so he graded this as a good okay. it's a little br brittle you can see check that out see the little bit of the page coming off right but we're going to open it up the here we'll put it on top of this the cover is detached so this is fair good like right? truly amazing story check that out right where 1000 young men are learning electricity right learn about electricity here's the table of contents wow the ether ship pretty cool I like these uh, pop magazines we'll probably do a reading of one or two at some point and this thing definitely check it out pieces of it are coming off I'm gonna put this over here okay and I'll put this in a bag and board magazine format That way we can put it away. The next one in that, with that one that we ended up getting, 154 years old Monday, just gone. 154. Fantastic adventures. And this one's 1939. Okay. And this is the one from... Bum, This one is 1939, okay. Issue number one, four. So he graded this one as good. The other one would have been in just a one, okay. So this one's graded at good. Fantastic, Fantastic Adventures, 1939. Okay. Cover by Robert Fuqua. Science Fiction and Fantasy Adventures. This issue features The Man from Hell by Poulton Cross. The Purple Conspiracy by Staten A. Cobbles and stories by Nelson S. Bond, Maurice Duclos, and Thornton A. Right. Pretty cool. Oh, H.G. Wells would have been. Years old, Monday, just gone. Ah, H.G. Wells. The one he wrote, uh, War of the Worlds is in uh, is in amazing stories and that sells for is it amazing stories or wonder stories it might be in wonder stories or amazing stories it sells for a very high price the war of the worlds these next three books i'm not sure why it didn't close these things up the last package we got from them were okay deadly hands of kung fu He's got a Deadly Hands of Kung Fu magazine, number 12, 16, 25. Neil Adams art on the first one, James Bond, Roger Moore. Picks eBay, so it's just his notes he's put on here. So this is the Neil Adams cover one. And these ones, these three, I ended up paying. Ba -da -ba 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 
these three cost cost twenty eight eighty nine Canadian. Okay, so here's number twelve. Roger Moore, Neil Adams cover. All right, pretty cool. Imagine a time where there's no such thing as Superman or Batman. That's crazy now, crazy indeed. Right. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. This is number, uh, which number is this one? This was number 15 or? Uh, it doesn't have a number on this one, I gotta find it. Here's the other one here. I'm gonna take a look at the cover while I find which number that is. That, the other one was number 12, the Roger Moore one. Okay. This one's number 25, I believe. Yeah, this one's number 25. Came out in 1976. Okay. And as far as grade goes for these, what did he grade these at? He graded these at number 12, the uh, the previous one. He graded this one at 8.5. Okay, 8.5. This one he's graded at 8.5. And the next one, which is number 16, he graded at uh, 7. All right. <laughs> I don't have any of these the deadly hands that come through and I don't know I don't think these are the prices of things he had on there but this was a fair value good price do you have a few of these I, I don't have any of these these would be the first three that I have I just want to get them just to check it out because I've never I don't know this one okay now for the graded books the heavy hitters at the end the heavy hitters at the end These I consider fair value, what I got them for. Uh, I think they're going for cheap. They're pretty important books, okay, as far as I'm concerned. Now, which one is this one? Uh, this one, let me check it out. That way I'm going in order of things I have open where we can I can give you the information, right? This one. Let me tell you what I got this one for. This one ended ended up costing me 126.66 Canadian. Okay, I, didn't, I haven't done the conversion to US, so multiply that by 0.76. Okay. Journey into Mystery number 107, 109. It's first. Magneto crossover. Okay. First Magneto crossover. <laughs> Very cool. Let me take it out of the plastic. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Is anyone there? Cheryl's like, no. We'll check out the cases. If you if you do buy graded books, check the cases as well. Just make sure there's no cracks. And if there is, make sure the person mentioned that there are cracks. And this is CBCS. And I'm totally 100% okay with collecting CBCS. The glare is not. This is 1963. 60 1960 oh it's got it here this is 1964 cover and art by jack kirby and chick stone art vince coletta uh story stanley magneto and brother of evil brotherhood of evil mutants cover and appearance first appearance of magneto outside of x-men okay and it's graded at 4.5 is i think this is going for cheap right now okay 
hundred I ended up picking up for hundred let's say hundred thirty dollars Canadian right uh, whatever that comes out to that's about a hundred bucks ninety five dollars US okay uh, which is a pretty good deal not bad happy to have this don't have this uh, I think this is undervalued in the market right now you can buy it uh, 4.5 is going for like probably around 150 right now so we got a okay deal pretty good deal less than what it's going for but I think even 150 compared to prices of other things is pretty cheap oh, let me put it back in the bag where the back go where did I put the bag the cover for this oh here it is this next book I think is going for insanely low price is that a self portrait on the back I don't think that's Jack Kirby no he's looking for people who like to draw I think this would be Kubrick is it uh, Albert Dorn probably the greatest money maker in the history of commercial art Albert Dorn do you know this person check it out Albert Dorn commercial art at the height of his career he began a full-time uh, search for people who like to draw cool this next book again CBCS graded we ended up picking it up for $109 Canadian okay and it's and it came out in 1964 graded at 4.0 uh, and it's the first appearance of Dormaro Dr. Strange's check this out Dormammu Dr. Strange's arch enemy okay so as far as I'm concerned Dormammu is really is like the Magneto in X-Men uh, but he never becomes good right so $109 graded at four and you can get it pretty on the cheap relative to other important first appearances and it's the first appearance of Clea as well okay and cover by Jack Kirby and Chick Stone again uh, art is Dick Ayers, Steve Ditko and Paul Paul Raymond story is Stanley Dick Ayers and Steve Ditko first appearance of Dormammu Ma Mamu and Clea fantastic for puppet master and mad uh, thinker appearance okay. $81 US $81.50 US thank you elder god let's pull it out there's the same guy in the back again right yes. pretty good it's a good price It's a good price and in the back it has some other stuff written on it we'll read the other one too this one is human torch story pawns of the deadly duo doctor strange story the domain of the dreaded dormammu okay full page ad for amazing spider-man number 18 so it tells you about the period that was coming out with other things right fantastic four 32 tales of suspense 59 and tales to astonish 61 cool mm -hmm. and this one what was going on at the same time this one was Thor's story 
when Magneto strikes, tales of Asgard's story banished from Asgard, full page ad for Amazing Spider-Man number 18, and tales of suspense number 59. So it came out at the same period, right? Very cool. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, before he became Doctor Strange, he, was a, he wasn't a nice guy. He was all about money and materialism. Being recognized as the best surgeon in the world, right? We read uh, the origin of Doctor Strange, the third appearance of Doctor Strange and Strange... Uh, which one was it? Strange Tale? Uh, Strange Tales number 119 or 109? One of the first readings we did. Uh, with Steve Ditko, the origin of uh, Doctor Strange. He's blue. <laughs> he wears. Doesn't Doctor Strange wear blue anyway? I thought his outfit is blue, isn't it? Or they make him in green. That's right, it's green, isn't it? Let's put this on nice. He's got a red cape usually. The cape of, I forget what the name of the cape is. Oh, the cape is blue. Nice. Awesome. So the two, two graded books, the <laughs> basically bulk of the buy, right? The cost. Blue is magic enough. Magical enough. Yeah. Fantastic. So that's the comic book haul I've been sitting on for a few days, five days or so, trying to, well, this one for a couple of days. I wanted to show you guys. Um, very happy to have these. The pulp magazines are fantastic. The Peter Pan, man. Pff, the Peter Pan was, wow, what a great price. What a great deal. And fantastic condition as far as I'm concerned. It's definitely more than a two. I would, I would have graded that a lot higher. Thor crossover is great. Yeah, yeah. I love the way Magneto looks. He looks like he looks menacing, right? He looks so menacing. I really like it. And just the motion of Jack Kirby's covers is phenomenal phenomenal there's quicksilver in the back and right those are spoiler warning those are magneto's kids right very cool is old school good versus evil indeed yeah the scarlet witch Thanks, Spot of Tea. The Scarlet Witch. Who are these guys? That guy. And that guy. See a little guy there. Peeking his head. Part of the Avengers, indeed. Fun. Okay, gang. That was my comic book haul unscheduled comic book haul i wanted to do how long did that take us that took us about an hour uh with the salutations and waiting for people to roll in uh tomorrow evening 7 30 p.m we're doing a live stream talking about uh, some of the positive things that are happening in the world okay just to counter the some of the pol politics current events streams that we've been doing so we look at the positive Okay, tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m., PDT, my time, Pacific West Coast, West Coast of Canada, United States. On Saturday, I believe at 12 p.m., we go through more of the gaming collection. We've already gone through that much, just for a bit there. We've gone through that much. We're going to go through the rest of the gaming boxes on Saturday from at 12 uh, p.m. Uh, again, West Coast, Canada, U.S. time and uh, we'll go until we get it done it should probably only take a couple hours okay 
And on Sunday, we do a comic book reading. We got two books left to read. Let's see which one uh, we're going to end up uh, reading, right? We got Kid Colt, uh, Jack Kirby cover with Monster um, reading. And we have uh, Crime Does Not Pay with John Dillinger. Um, one Silver Age, one Golden Age, one from 1952 uh, with the uh, Crime Does Not Pay Dillinger, John Dillinger and uh with the kid cold being from 1962 right fantastic looking forward to it john severn i believe versus jack kirby uh story and stan stanley story right fantastic excited for all three me too spot of tea gang thank you for being here mods thank you for taking care of business for those of you who are watching this after the live stream or who are here for the first time i am on patreon if you want to know what this is all about which are which is basically me layering everything on mathematics we're doing these comic book hauls because at some point we're going to go back and link it up with personal finance mathematics gold always beats silver gold always beats silver but silver is easier for trading okay uh, that goes into finance as well we are live streaming on twitch uh, so for those of you who are here, those of you who subscribe, those of you who are following, those of you who are participating in the conversation, thank you very much for the support. Nice stream. Enjoy it very much. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Uh, I do announce these streams 30 minutes before we go live for scheduled ones on LO Minds, VK Gap, Parlor, and Twitter. And a few minutes before we go live for these unscheduled live streams. For streams where we don't have any visuals involved, I do upload the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho you can follow the work there and those audio podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify as long as they don't censor and we will be uploading this live stream this video to youtube and bitshoot and you can support this work by subscribing following turning on notifications guaranteed to get notifications through bitshoot not so much through youtube and you can support this work through youtube by joining youtube membership somewhere around here there's a button there and for those of you who are supporting this work through patreon and twitch and in all kinds of other ways that you are supporting this work thank you very much for the support gang and i'll see you tomorrow i'm prepared now love that command we still need a chicho info command oh we do we got to uh, let me know on discord what we need to uh, put on that command uh, elder god and uh, we put it on what were we going to put on there i forget but let me know on discord i'll do it okay gang i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and uh, three more days of live streaming in the set bye everyone oh small bio Ooh, small bio okay okay i'll work on it Good fun as always, part of the. Bye, everyone.